Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are grabbing everything we can in Liquid Sunshine. An excellent puzzle platformer, developed and published by the seriously incredibly named, yet very talented, God as a Cucumber. Brilliant. This will set you back £6.69 or $7.99 and can be finished within 1-2 to two hours. Now this is a proper stunning casual puzzle platformer where we guide a monkey, a horse and a rhino through some decently ever increasing challenging puzzles as we learn about their relationship through comic book strips. Also, why they are on the run together. Now as for the achievements, the bulk is for finding secret diamonds hidden in most levels while the rest are story related and once we collect all the diamonds we need to go and replay a tiny bit of chapter 7. Either way, it's all brilliant fun, so with that being said then, let's begin. So first of all then, you are, uh, we'll just call him Monkey for now, I'll think of a better nickname in just a little bit. So to climb up and down, you actually have to press uh, down and up on the left stick. Obviously the left stick to move, press A to jump, and the majority of the game will be, uh, we will be pressing the B button to sort of interact with. So climb down this, it um, uh, looks like a, Bit of a sex toy to be honest but that's okay that's <laughs> that's what makes this game even better so yeah just press it to jump uh, press up and down to uh, obviously climb up and climb down things press the B button and he and the monkey boy will uh, push it down now as for fall damage there are like I said three characters monkey horse and rhino the monkey can take a little bit of fall damage, but not too much, otherwise he'll die. The horse, you can pretty much jump from quite afar, and the rhino, as we will come to in just a little bit, he will basically die even just uh, falling off the tiniest, weenerest thing. So, but like I said, we'll just come to that in just a little moment. So again, use the B button to interact, push that down. Be very careful here, if you just, like I said, if you f end up flying off, you will die. Before you move on to the right of the checkpoint, go to the left. Right here, uh, press A to jump in if you sort of a uh, little bit stuck. We're going to be grabbing our first achievement and our first secret. Climb up the old sextoy here, jump across, and there is our first secret and our first achievement. So that one is done. Obviously, these first couple of levels are going to be sort of your basic-ish tutorials, you know, getting used to the game and everything. Uh, but, uh, like I said, it's a, it is easy and it is very enjoyable. So that's the first level done. Now we're going to be getting acquainted with uh, the horseman. And, I mean, to be honest, the way this, the way this horse moves is goddamn majestic. So I'm going to call him Majestic Man. So this is the sort of uh, thing that we can do with a horse. Monkey can't climb up, so get your horse all the way over to the right. Go back to the monkey, uh, pressing the right trigger and left trigger. That's how you swap characters in the game. Press the B button, and then the horse will actually lift us up. So it can be quite sort of fast-paced, this game as well, so I'll <laughs> try and explain everything and keep up. Uh, get the horse up. He will uh, kick him over, kick the monkey over with the B button, and the horse can just drop down. And then with the monkey, drop down to the right and then climb down this um, piece of... Well, you know, I'll, I'll leave the imagination up to you at this point. So, yeah. So, again, I do apologise if uh, I'm trying to explain things quite fast. But like I said, it is quite fast-paced. So, yeah, as I said then, we'll nip off to the left first as we get our second uh, achievement and second secret. But that is how you uh, change and switch characters. The left trigger and the right trigger... Again, that's all very easy. Crawl under this rock here to get the second one. Ooh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm already out of breath. I'm getting too fat and too old for this, to be honest. But we are <laughs> we are getting there. So climb down. We'll just nip all the way back to the right. And like I said, it, it'll it's easy enough to get used to. It's not one of those where it might get... You know, the puzzles do get a little bit more challenging a little bit later on. But still, thanks to all the buttons and everything, it's still very easy to get used to. So get the monkey all the way up to the right. Now we'll need the horse to do it. So just climb up and again, just go all the way to the right. There we go. Change to the monkey and then sort of get close to the horse. Press the B button and he'll nip you up there. Again, be very careful to not fall and die. Now the checkpoints are pretty decent in this game, but you do go back quite a bit. So... I mean, you know, if, if you could not die, that would obviously be 
a lot better for you and it would certainly make your life a lot easier. Jump down with the horse, you don't need to worry about climbing down because this guy is strong. So there's a checkpoint. Go all the way to the right there, you will drop down as the horse can't actually go across the wire, whereas Monkey Man can. He can jump bloody beautifully as well. Climb under the, sort of crawl under this rock right here. Jump down, should be okay. You know, it's, it's not too bad, uh, the sort of height for the monkey, but, you know, any higher and he will probably end up dying. So, press B to push that down. Don't jump in the air pointlessly like I did. <laughs> get him going and then, of course, get the horse along as well. And that horse looks like he could just bat you at any moment, couldn't he? Uh, with the horse then, you can just jump across to the right and make sure you land in the gap in between and then climb up. Doing that, then you'll be able to push this uh, little tiny bit of wood down or bridge or whatever it is. And that will enable Monkey Man to skip across while not jumping in the air again. <laughs> So there we go, smash him over to the right. This is the end of the level now. So level number three is where we are introduced to the rhino. Rhino? There's no such thing as a rhino, it's a rhino. But again, definitely worth checking out the story here as well. You know, I do end up skipping it with the start button, but it's definitely worth checking it out as it is hilariously brilliant. So here's the rhino then. He's, he's got a dildo on his nose, as most rhinos do for some reason. So here we go then, this is, he can basically move strong ass stuff, so any big massive bricks and boulders or any sort of bits of stone that's in the way, press the B button once, he will lift that up and stay there so now we can get the other two characters through. So go ahead and smash them on by. Once they are through then, go onto the Rhino, press the B button and he'll sort of walk on by and then we can climb up. And by the way, the music in this game, again, is absolutely phenomenal. It's got that epic sort of 80s feel to it. <laughs> Couldn't get enough, could not get enough of the music, to be honest. I hope, you're I hope you guys are enjoying it too. It's absolutely fantastic. So anyway, we'll just get everyone to climb up now. Come on. We'll get there eventually, but as the Rhino, do not push this boulder off yet. We'll be going for our third secret and third achievement. So get the monkey up. And then with the horse, obviously jump up. You'll have to sort of boost him up uh, three times, I believe, here. So again, as the monkey, press B sort of next to the horse's ass. And he'll sort of jump up, do the same again. It, it may get slightly confusing when you're sort of trying to go for a character and you end up... Um, clicking the wrong one, but usually you shouldn't die as long as you're not too close to an edge or anything. So, as the monkey, go across this bit of wire here. That's sort of Michael Jackson dancing across. Looks bloody beautiful. Sorry, I love the caption at the top right-hand corner there. It's brilliant. There we go then. So, climbing down the rope, there was our third secret already then. So, we're already flying through the achievements. Michael Jackson, your way back to the other side and then now we can finally jump down get the horse down as well and then as the ride on you know the pokemon ride on <laughs> i'm very talented push it using the b button and then just get all characters across to the next checkpoint there we go so we're all good i actually died incredibly stupidly here which is why there was a big edit in there then and you know what i actually died with the rhino right here i jumped down literally not even an inch off the ground, and he died. That's how little room for error this rhino has. So make sure not to go off any edges, otherwise you will pretty much die, and it can be very frustrating. So get all your characters down. Old Majestic Man here, get him down. And then we can actually jump down with the horse, because the monkey will die. Climb up the next pole. I'm just going to call it a pole. I'm going to stop calling it a sex toy, to be honest. Press A to jump off here. And then push this sort of metal grate down again with the B button. Because anything else, the rhino, this is the only thing that the rhino can actually hold. Because he's, you know, fat and stuff. Heavy, big, massive, wide load. <laughs> Get him across anyway. Get him to jump down. And we're going to need his um, world's strongest man arms. Basically, these three are kind of 
kind of like sort of, uh, you know, the gym-related stuff. So we've got the rhino as the world's strongest man. The horse is sort of the powerlifter. And <laughs> the monkey looks like a crossfitter. <laughs> oh, controversial potentially, but still hilarious. Anyway, we're going to be getting all three up now. So get the horse over to the right. Uh, get the monkey sort of monkey's head up the horse's ass and get the rhino basically it's basically like an animal orgy you've got to get really close together all basically inside the horse press the b button as the rhino and then you'll all be able to jump up then so that's how that bit works today so just remember if nothing's happening i'm afraid you're gonna have to have an animal orgy to get in so um <laughs> anyway moving on same bit we need uh we need we need to be inside the horse's ass there press b as the rhino we'll be getting up Jump up then with the A button with the horse. You know, again, you'll know all the buttons and everything by now, but I'll keep saying it to remind, me, remind you because I am. God damn, I'm a nice guy. You know what I mean? So anyway, press the B button once again. We're going to move this boulder, push it over once again. Leave it for now, though, and get the other two characters up, the horse and the monkey. The uh, power lifter there, get him up. And then you can get the crossfitter then up as well. <laughs> I'm only joking, okay? So if it, if any crossfitters out there get offended, it's just a joke. You do good stuff, honestly. I know you do. Anyway, a couple of boosts now. Let's get the horse to the right. Press B with the monkey. Get him up as well so you can crawl under. And get secret n numero for uno. Top talent me at the other languages. Clearly, clearly not. Then we can push the boulder all the way in as the rhino, skip on to the right and head up. And then just nip to the checkpoint as well. Do the same, of course, with the other two characters. And that ends the level. So this level and for the rest of the game this introduces stairs so if you go next to any staircase pressed up or down on the left stick and that will automatically get your characters down and when they're going down you can actually move on to the next character and bring them down as well so you're not sort of waiting around for too long. So then as the crossfitter, sorry I'm going to stop calling him that, <laughs> get the monkey up the wires, lucky there's no electric on otherwise we'd be having fried monkey meat for dinner. Go into the next room, turn on the switch, that will open the locked door right there so the rhino can go on by. They're sort of in disguise now, uh, our characters. Smash through the door as the rhino and then just neatly uh, go up the stairs here into the next building. And then wait there, lovely. So go ahead, grab the horse. And the horse, man, the horse looks like he could just smash his way through anything, couldn't he? Beefed up, jacked up, roided up beautifully. Get him up the stairs next as well. And then get the same then with the monkey. Next, just switch the horse up the stairs you go. Happily jump down, taking no fall damage whatsoever. That wouldn't be a bad power to have, really, would it? And just go down the next set of staircases right here. Open up the switch. Uh, turn on the switch to open up the locked door. And then that'll let the other characters in. So we'll nip on all the way up. Grab the monkey and the rhino. Put them by the door. But in fact, it's actually the monkey where we need to get up the stairs. Because he needs to go into that little crawl space to flick the switch right there. So bring the horse down. Put the monkey up. Go into the crawl space. Chuck the switch on. And then everyone can nip on by again. Thank you. 
So let's get everyone to the right, get the checkpoint going, and as the monkey then we'll be climbing up. So again, get close to the horse, press the B button, and you're up. Go down the little staircase here, and obviously open up the switch. That'll open up the other door. Get the rhino, use his incredible 30 stone world's strongest man strength to smash the door open, and then get him to push the big massive box down. That would be a good event in the uh, world's strongest man. Smash a door open and push this big massive <laughs> box down in the quickest time possible. Hmm. Might have to write a letter, I think, or an email. Anyway, we're sticking with the games for now. So as the monkey, go down the staircase, through the crawl hole, and flick the switch so we can all get by. And this next bit, for some reason, frustrated the crap out of me. Only because I kept dying extremely pointlessly with the rhino. Like jumping off the tiniest edge, as I've said, kept dying. And yes, that did piss me off a little bit. <laughs> but So that's why, again, there's a bit of an edit there. So as the monkey go down the first staircase and crawl through, there's a locked door here. So we'll obviously be needing to flick a switch. Go up the staircase again. Go to the left, open the door. And then that will unlock that door for us. So gra grab everyone to come through. We're going to need to use Eddie Hall now to smash his way through the door again. Bam. Headbutt. Not even a punch. Just with your head like. Although I suppose he's got a big dildo on his nose as we said. So might soften the blow a bit. Bit of animal orgy right here now. So get everyone close to the horse as possible. With the rhino press B to get everyone up. And then obviously switch to the horse to get him up then as well. As the rhino then, we'll open up this door so we can all get through once again. And just leave the rhino by the door for now. The horse, get him to go upstairs. And then with the monkey, get him to go upstairs as well. So get the monkey close to the edge and then press the B button as the horse to fling him over. <laughs> Lands on his face, gets a hell of a bloody nose and then just nip all the way down to the stairs. And then go to the crawl space in the left. Not the right, because there's an out there on the right. So, nip to left. And then don't be fooled. Go all the way to the left, because there are two switches. It looks like there's only one, but there are two to open up that door there. And then go ahead and basically go back the same way we've come. Except for the monkey, you don't actually have to, because we are through. So put the rhino all the way to the right, not that he did much that time, apart from headbutt a few doors and that. And then just go all the way down to the left side of the stairs with the horse. And then that's his job done for this particular building. Lovely jubbly. And then with the rhino, push the massive box up the stairs and then head back down. Of course, make sure the horse and the monkey weren't directly underneath that box, otherwise that would pinch a bit, I'd expect. You know, big massive box on your head. B button, push the box into the ground, and then do another little animal orgy right here to get everybody up. So then with the horse, we're going to be going all the way up to the top floor of this building. The monkey you can just leave there uh, next to the first door, and then the rhino sort of up to the second floor. So leave the rhino there, get the horse, keep him going all the way up, and then make him jump across to the other staircase. Bam! Nice jump. Okay, even the way he jumps is bloody majestic. I love it. So we'll get the metal uh, pole across right now. That'll be good enough for the rhino to cross over, but get the horse all the way back up, and the rhino, get him to follow him as well. All the way up, all the way up to the, to the top right there. Get the horse to open up the switch, and then make him go upstairs. Jump and hug the right hand wall as much as you can. You're gonna land there and get another secret. That'll be the secret number five, I believe. And another achievement anyway. So sort of jump down very sort of carefully. Beautiful, and then that should be good. Switch to the monkey, open up the door for the horse right there. And then get him to keep going up. The rhino we're basically done with again, so you can just smash him up the top floor. Whereas the horse, get him to climb up the steps as well. You know, hopefully I'm trying to explain it in a sort of less confusing manner as I p 
possibly can because there's so much that's sort of happening all at once. So, um, so yeah, get the horse and monkey to the right-hand side staircase and make them climb all the way up. Uh, we're basically done with this level now, so it's literally just a case of getting all three characters over to the hydrant on the right to end the level. Congratulations! So here we are then, on to the next level. Uh, get all three characters, fly them up the stairs now. The areas might seem a sort of a bit sim uh, similar and a bit familiar, but they do, again, like I said, get progressively a little bit more difficult. So uh, use the switch as the monkey. Uh, so, uh, flick the switch as the monkey, sorry. Get the rhino, headbutt the crap out of that door. And then as the monkey, you can jump across and land on the second uh, shelf, that, the second uh, floor there, sorry. Go up the stairs on the right hand side, the door should be unlocked, so that will enable us to push the plank of wood down. The rhino cannot go across that, because he's a, well he's a fat son of a bitch and he ain't ever, <laughs> he ain't going across that, he die. But the horse can, which is nice, so we'll get him across, pop most of the way down the stairs, not quite to this one yet. All the way down here, and then we'll go to the left, climb up on the shelf, smack the switch on, and that is basically that for this part of the area. Now we can switch to the monkey, get him down, and then put the rhino all the way to the right after smashing open the door. So we've hit the checkpoint, lovely, so as the monkey just keep going all the way across to the right and then there is a gap we can jump over right there and that is going to be another secret diamond for us, it's not so secretive, not so hidden that time, which makes it better for us. But anyway, now we can move on with the level after you've done that, so get all three characters, sort of a bit halfway up the stairs for now, get the rhino up, get the horse, keep going up, the monkey can stay there however. Smash through the door with the rhino. I love that. Honestly, it just makes me laugh. Just smashing through. Onto the right staircase. Get the horse and the rhino both there and then both down. And then uh, push off this massive crate. Like I said, I'm going to write to World's Strongest Man and hopefully they get an event like this going. Then get him back up. All the way to the left then. Down the stairs and just go to where the monkey is. Um, we can't actually get through the door yet to be able to push this box on. So switch to the horse. And then you see the switch just underneath where we are, so be careful with it, Yeah, you know, I don't think it makes a difference, you won't die or anything, but be careful anyway, isn't it? Get through the door once it's open, push that down, and then that is this area done with, down the stairs and to the right, come on. So then, as the Rhino, you can just go ahead, smash your way all the way to the right. I don't think there's any need to break the uh, door on the right here, but, you know, <laughs> better to be safe than sorry anyway. So anyway, chuck him up the stairs, switch to the horse, and then do the same thing with him. Obviously, we, we'll be getting... This bit is all about sort of strategic placing, so get the horse and Rhino up the stairs. Make sure the horse goes all the way up to where the Rhino is. Get the monkey onto the first floor right here, and to the right, crawl underneath to open up this, uh, there's a door up above with this switch. And then put the monkey all the way up to where the rest of the guys are. I don't know what happened here, but all you've got to do now as the rhino is push the box directly on your right. You don't need to go up the stairs with the monkey or the rhino yet, so I don't know why I've done that. So, here we go then. Get your world's strongest man arms going. Go on, Eddie, old boy. Go on. There we go. So push that down. And now that is out of the way for us, we can now throw the monkey across with the horse and the monkey. So we can get the rhino, just leave him upstairs for a minute. 
horse and monkey to the right. Press B, of course. I'm sure you figured that out by now. But, um... Yeah, you got to get a little bit close. I was a bit too far from the edge, which is why it wasn't working there. But there we go. So throw the monkey across. Now we can flick the switch, which would be good enough to open up the uh, door where the rhino is. But the horse and the monkey can just um, jump down there. So get this down. Then, of course, go down the stairs to your left. And then push it down. And that should be enough for Mr. Rhino Eddie Hall to cross. After, obviously, you go back down another flight of stairs to cross. Because you'll die, like I said, you, you, you'll just die off like five centimeters of fallingness. So I wouldn't try, I wouldn't risk it. I did it too many times. And once you get everyone up the stairs right here, we will use. The cross-fitting legend, that is Little Monkey Man. There's no checkpoint here, so don't worry about that. Man, I've just, just got to stop offending crossfitters. I am terribly sorry. You two do a good job, honest. Uh, but anyway, get the monkey <laughs> to go up on the left drain pipe right here. The horse is going to follow you. But just watch how goddamn beautifully majestic this horse is now. Look at the way he just climbs this pipe. Uh, that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at him. That's incredible. I love the way he does that. Anyway, we'll throw Monkey Man across now. Sorry, I still love that. But as the horse, we're going to need to jump across as well. Because uh, the little monkey is going to need a boost. There we go. Go through the door then. And through the next door. Cross the live electric wires. Try not to get electrocuted. <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't get electrocuted. Uh, which is all good. And then you think, where am I going? For the love of God, do not jump. <laughs> be very careful. Climb down the other drain pipe because, of course, if you flip over that, you will be a goner. And you'll have to go back a few buildings. You're okay to drop down at this part. Uh, nip to the left and then go up the stairs. And with the horse, we can just majestically climb our way back down. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, man. That's just awesome. I didn't need, to, to be honest, we could have just jumped off the building, but I wanted to see him do that gracefully again. So, so okay, go back to the monkey, flick the switch, which is directly ahead of you, and then you can nip back down the stairs. As the rhino and the horse, we can now climb up those stairs, and we can go back down the right-hand side staircase, of course. And smash your way through, put this box down to the ground so you and the horse can cross with nay issues, and then it's just a case of... Uh, just a case of then opening the door and getting your ass through. So then, from now till the end of the game, there is a new mechanic in the terms of pressure plates. So as you can see, the rhino goes to the right, stands on the right pressure plate, get the horse up the second level, and that will open up, stand on the pressure plate, that will open up the door upstairs for the monkey to go in. So they're not overly complicated. Um, it, it will definitely sort of, if you were sort of doing this on your own without a guide, it would take you a little sort of while to think. So there we go then. So now the monkey's on the top pressure plate. That remains, uh, this door below him remains open. So now as the horse, we can go up, flip the switch, and then the main door is open. So now it's just a case of getting everyone through without the locking them, <laughs> without locking them in, of course. So get to the horse, back to the second pressure plate, get the monkey down. And he's actually good to go now. So get him sort of past the checkpoint. Get the rhino, uh, sorry, get the horse, my bad. Get the horse, as long as he's out of the door, then the rest should be good. But like I said, the pressure plate, it's not too bad. It'll it, would, it will take a little bit of thinking, again, if you're not following a guide. But of course, if you're following a guide, then it's easy enough. But a very, very interesting and very well thought out sort of set of puzzles now, including these pressure plates. Very unique as well. 
thoroughly enjoyed it. But we are on to the next section to get the horse and the monkey up the stairs. And of course, get the rhino to follow him because he ain't going nowhere else otherwise. Get him and <laughs> smash through the right hand door. And then just put the rhino and the monkey down the stairs. What we're going to do is push the box on the right hand side with the rhino. That will activate a pressure plate which will open the top door allowing the horse to jump to the other side for us. So now the door is open, get the monkey and the rhino back down and it, again there's four pressure plates on the ground which we're going to need to sort of manipulate in order to get through. So first of all let's the rhino push the box over one to the fourth one and then have the monkey stand on the second one and then the rhino stand on the third one. That'll be fine for now so now we can get the horse down to the main door right here and then push us to the left this uh, metal steel beam so that that's enough for the rhino to get past so with the monkey fly on by fly back up do the same of course with the rhino as well Aha, you thought we were done, but we're actually going back down the stairs now. Uh, all we're doing is just pushing the box to the very left hand side, the first pressure plate. That will open up the locked door for us and then we are free as a Boyd. So just carrying on as normal then, get all the three main characters down to the ground floor for a minute. This building now introduces elevators, the use of elevators which you can go up and down in by pressing again, just like you do when you're sort of climbing, press up to go up and then uh, down to go down, easy enough. So as the monkey open the switch on the bottom, that will get uh, the rhino and the horse through, because you know they're two chubs to crawl where the monkey did. And then just get them all up the stairs, and then there's a whole new world of elevatorness to go through. So once you've opened the door then, just go all the way to the left with the rhino, don't go up the elevator. But we are going to be going up the elevator with the monkey and the horse. So get the monkey first, stand on the pressure plate to the right which will enable the door to be open, get the rhino on the pressure plate to the left, and then get both the horse and the monkey all the way up. It doesn't seem like there's another way up, but if you just press up again, magic happens. Well, it's not magic, it's just another elevator that goes up. Uh, so there we go anyway. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of throwing right now. So again, get sort of close to the edge as you can, otherwise it won't work. So we'll get the monkey a little bit closer, that should be enough. Obviously, trying to make sure not to die because that would just be a pain in the ass, really. And as the monkey then, we can head on up because we are coming up to another secret, another achievement right there. That one is very well hidden. That time, <laughs> rather than the last one. But that's another achievement for us then. And then remember to flick the switch on the right. Otherwise, you would have just messed that one up. So as the horse... Um, yeah, as the horse, sorry, we can go back down now. I don't know what I was trying to think of or expect there. Because the only way the monkey's getting down is down through the elevator. So, the rhino, keep him going all the way to the right since the door is unlocked with the horse. Get him past the checkpoint, so he's done. Get the monkey down. You only need to do it once. And then, of course, with the horse, get him down once and you're all good to go. On to the next bit. Alrighty then, so get the rhino down the stairs, one, and then we'll go all the way upstairs with the horse and the El Monko. We're going to be doing a bit of uh, monkey throwing, a bit of poop throwing, because that's what monkeys do, you know, throw feces and stuff, that was 
not the best joke I've ever told again. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so the rhino will be all the way downstairs, throw the monkey across, don't throw the feces across. Um, it would have been funny, wouldn't it, to see little bits of poop coming out of it. Anyway, you should be good to not die as the monkey when you climb down. Go to the right, flick the switch. Don't worry about the pressure plate for now, we'll be coming back to that a little bit later on. So just head down the stairs right there and do the same with the horse. Flick the switch and that will get the door open there so the horse and the monkey can just fly on through. Now it's time for an animal orgy. So get everyone down and get everyone together. The animal orgy, of course, including how to actually get up because we won't be able to otherwise. So remember, get the horse all the way to the right. Get them sort of close together and then as the rhino press the B button, that will uh, help you up with the legendary biceps. That is the horse as the monkey climb down and then we'll just head on back up. Now we will be pressing the uh, pressure switch that we were by a little bit earlier on, the one to the right of here. So only you go, flick the switch. Actually, it doesn't really matter at that point. Sorry, it's the pressure plate that we care about because that unlocks the door for us underneath. So then just jump, well, d d <laughs> don't forget to put the rhino through before you go to climb up with the monkey. But put the rhino all the way to the right and then as the horse press B by him and you'll get this epic jump up there, this little epic kick up. Climb up with the monkey and with the, ho uh, with the rhino go downstairs once there and you see the pressure plate with the horse. Go on the other pressure plate, that'll open both doors. And with the monkey, you can now just jump down, and you should be free as a another bird. Lots of birds being free. Or something or other. So then welcome to level 7, uh, right get the monkey and the horse all the way up the stairs, smash the rhino through the door on the right to begin with, and then like I said put the horse up as well. At the end of the game we will be coming back to level 7 for just a short amount to get our final achievement, but of course that's making sure that we've collected all secrets, all the uh, diamonds, so obviously make sure you're following the guide and then we can get that final achievement a little bit later on. So pull the switch then as the lever and uh, pull the uh, pull the lever as the monkey even <laughs> and then jump across with the horse get the monkey to jump up and then get him down the stairs. And then you can see where we're going with this then there's a little switch to the left that only the little monkey can grab that'll open up the door for the rhino and that can get us through safely or at all. And then we can just nip on through again. Now this is where the tree is going to be a little bit later on. Again, once we've collected all of the uh, secrets, uh, uh, all of the diamonds, all the collectibles, whatever you want to call them, and that is where it will be. So we won't be playing too far into it, luckily. But for now, we'll carry on and head on up. So push down this metal sort of pole or grate or whatever you want to call it and then stand on the pressure plate. Then we can jump majestically and magically through the air. Bam! And then just go down and we'll be doing the same with the monkey. So we'll need to be throwing this dude across. So get him close again, get quite close to the edge but not enough where you die of course. Because eh, nobody wants to die. Especially not on video games. So throw him across and there we go, flick the one switch up the stairs and then go ahead and flick the other switch. Then that will open up two doors, so for now we're actually done with the monkey. In fact we're also done with the horse, but there is quite a little bit that we've still got to do with the rhino. Which, well it's not really a pain in the ass, it's just because it's because he's about 38 stone of course, which I don't know if you've tried moving 38 stone, but it can be slightly a pain in the neck and the arms and the whole body. So, there's an elevator at the bottom of the staircase to the right, so we'll go up that. There it is, and there should be a box, massive box to the left of you, or him. So go ahead, push that one up. Not quite done, go up the elevator once again to push the other box down now. 
And now that will give us a safe passage across. It's no good running into it. You've actually got to interact with it. And then just go all the way down. All the way back up to the start of the level. And then across to visit your home dogs. The horse home dog. And the monkey home dog. Or something or other. Now, this part may be slightly potentially a bit confusing, as if some of it's not already. <laughs> but just go down the stairs first, and then with the horse go up the right-hand side along with the rhino. And of course you know where this is going then. Get the monkey down. And get him to stand on the left side pressure plate right there. And then with the rhino, push the box off with no problems. In fact, it's actually not this part that's very confusing. But it is a little part a little bit later on. So apologies for that. Now, with the horse there, you'll have to stand on the right-hand side pressure plate from where the box was. So go ahead and do that. That unlocks the door for the rhino. And then he can bang on by. And then push the box over and then that should be good. So that'll be enough now for the monkey to get up. So we'll have to swap positions with the round of the monkey. There you go. Thanks. Fat ass. We'll take it from here. So as the monkey then, obviously we'll have to get the horse down as well. But that's fine. We don't need the um, don't need him standing on the pressure plate anymore. So majestically jump down and then <laughs> stand there. Don't jump up. Make sure to get the monkey up first. Because, of course, there is a little switch on the right-hand side we need. And that is basically that. So we can just jump down with the monkey now and go to the right-hand side. But we'll actually have to, with the horse, swap again with the rhino. Because it'll be okay, because the horse can just flip up. On top, so like I said, the monkey's done, so he can just nip off, as can the rhino as well. And then with the horse up the top of the stairs, then we can actually jump across and basically just land. Bang, smack, bam, that one is done. On to the rest, we're about 15 minutes-ish from the end now. So, let's just carry on then, shall we? So, first things first then, horse boy up the stairs, monkey boy up the stairs as well. And, well, you're going to guess what we're going to be doing with the rhino. That's right, up the stairs. Good guess, good guess. You win absolutely nothing, I'm afraid. Um... <laughs> This bit, again, it seems very complicated, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, the, some of the jumping parts can be a little bit finicky. So with the monkey, stand on the second pressure plate. That, of course, gets the door on the right to open up. And then we'll need to push the box with the rhino over to the, well, the third pressure plate right there, or the one on the very right. That'll get the door open on the left. So now with the rhino or monkey or whatever, pre preferably the rhino, though, Jump on the pressure plate on the left. That will open the door, the right-hand side door at the top. So now, as the horse, just jump up and flick the switch. So, I bet you're wondering what we got to do now. Well, it's pretty much easy enough then. So, as the horse, you don't have to get him downstairs. Uh, because we'll need to go up to the left-hand side. So, apologies about that little mix-up then. All we need to do, though, is get the rhino over to the right-hand side staircase and up. And that'll push the box over to the left-hand side. So, again, just apologies about that little mix-up there, guys. That was... I don't know. I, I think I'd lost my head at this point. The monkey, though, can st actually stay underground as well. He doesn't have to go up the stairs. Because, in fact, there's a little switch just to the right of the door on the underneath that we'll need to push. But first of all then, as the rhino, push this massive box all the way over to the left side pressure switch now, or the pressure plate, sorry. Get the monkey downstairs. 
And now then, as the horse, you can climb up all the way to the left-hand side door. And like I said, the pressure plate on the right-hand side doesn't do anything now. I, as the Rhino, thought it did for a couple of seconds, but it doesn't. It's actually the switch where the monkey is by, which will open up the door for us. So again, apologies about this little bit of confusion there. Hopefully I explained it sort of well enough. <laughs> So here we are then at level 8, now immediately go to the left and that is where our secret will be. That's for, I do like that one, it's a nice little sort of tricky one to uh, get your mind going there. So see those toxic barrels there? Only the rhino can get past there because he's built like a beast, built like an animal obviously. So with the horse and the rhino, we, uh, the horse and the monkey can get upstairs and the rhino can just nip on by. If you go next to them with the uh, horse or the monkey, of course, they die and you'll have to replay it. So, up the stairs we go then, to the left, open up this switch right here, that'll open up the door. Uh, flick the switch, open up the door even. And go downstairs with the horse, go downstairs with the monkey, go downstairs with the rhino. Jobs are good and nice and easy as we sort of come towards the end of the game. Now remember when I said earlier this bit may be confusing? Well it was actually this bit that I was referring to. So with the horse then, go into the pressure plate immediately then, to the right, and then as the rhino and the monkey, you can go down the stairs, go all the way down the stairs as the rhino though. Sorry for the big edit jump there, I'd actually mess this up big time. And then stand on the pressure plate, that will allow the monkey to get through. So go all the way to the right and then down. And then all the way down. And basically what we're doing is just swapping here, but remember not to get too close to the toxic barrels. So with the Rhino, go left and then back up the stairs. So yeah, it took me about 15 minutes to realize I was screwing this all up completely. But we need to swap with the horse now, so get the Rhino on the second pressure plate, the horse through the doors. And then once he's through, go all the way downstairs with the Rhino again, and then as the monkey, we can go all the way up again. So again, get the rhino to stand on the pressure plate. This one's a bit sort of in your face, trying to explain everything as it's happening. So then obviously with the monkey, get the switch going there. Happy days. And then you can just stand on the pressure plate as well for good measure while we're there. So we're good for this bit then with the rhino. So that bit's all done, lovely. It probably doesn't seem as confusing as it did, but well, it bested me for a bit, but that will open up both doors now, and the, the Rhino can push that down. That will enable everyone to get across now. So again, I know that was very quickly explained, but hopefully I didn't do too bad a job and you guys got it as we were going along there. So then we might as well continue, eh? We're only about 10 minutes away from getting all of the achievements now. So, put the horse onto the third floor, get the monkey all the way to the top, the very, very top, and then get the rhino up to the second floor where the big massive box is, where I've just left the other two characters there. So go ahead, smash the other two all the way up, leave the horse there, and then get the monkey there. He's gonna be able to flick a switch for us on the right-hand side. Happy days. That will uh, enable the door to be open, which the Rhino can now push the massive box out of the way. Now, what you're actually supposed to do here is uh, jump in the box with the horse, get the monkey to go where the horse is. Again, don't get too far ahead. 
But what you're meant to do as the Rhino is go to the other side and push another big box down so that you've got two boxes either side to throw. But you can sort of save a couple of seconds here. As the horse and the rhino, uh, horse and the monkey, you should be able to just skip over the barrels without dying. So if you want to save yourself a couple of seconds, that's what you can do. But we've got to get to that point as the rhino anyway. So really, it doesn't make too much of a difference. So all the way down, go past the toxic barrels there. That <laughs> The rhino's hard-ass shell can take it. So yeah, this is what I mean. Now we can just carry on. But... What you're meant to do is actually push it off. So I show you anyway, just in case. Because I'm just a nice guy like that, am I not? Otherwise, everyone's happy with that. But we're not quite done yet. So we'll have to get the monkey, both the monkey and the horse. Um, get them both upstairs then, either side. Uh, as quick as you can. Well, it makes no difference, really. Uh, climb under, go past the stairs. And there's a little um, a bit of a wooden board or a wooden plank for us to push. Smash through the door as the horse, as you have done throughout the game. And then climb up as the horse, because of course he can't climb under like the monkey can. And then, simply go down the stairs, and we will enter the final level of the game. So again, then, there's nothing that's too overly difficult. It's as you would have expected from the game for the majority. So uh, get the horse and rhino upstairs first. Two pressure, plate, two pressure plates, sorry. One on the left monkey, one on the right the rhino. That'll open the door. The horse can then climb up after pushing the metal pipe down. The majestic legendary climbing. And then push the next metal pipe down. And that is more or less it. Except we just got to, we obviously can't go past as the monkey, so we'll have to climb down the stairs, uh, go to the right and climb up. Obviously, get um, with the horse, get the pressure plate going as well, otherwise the door will be locked. Uh, the rhino you can actually put upstairs, you don't need it, he's not climbing that rope, is he? Let's be honest. If he can't handle standing on a board, he's not going to climb up a rope, is he? Let's be <laughs> quite fair with that. And then we can all just nip on by. No need to stand on the left pressure plate. We are now generally good to go. So now we go ahead and get into the next area. So we're splitting up for a bit, I'm afraid to see. So with the monkey first then, get to this big staircase right here and head down. All the way down as far as you can. With the Rhino, you can just blast on by the old toxic barrels again. Hard as nails, this guy. So, no problems. And then just head down with the only staircase to the other side. And then with the horse, that same staircase where the monkey went down. This time, the horse will be going up. Happy days. So, now we can go as the monkey. Go underground and sort of crawl your way through. And there's going to be an elevator at the very right-hand side of this screen. Eventually, there she blows, there she blows. So go ahead and nip on up. With the rhino then, go all the way to the right as well. And the horse, you're able to just easily, magnificently jump over these. Again, try and make sure not to fall and die. Otherwise, you'll have to replay just a little bit of the level. We shouldn't have any issues. And you should be good to just jump down here. Uh, with the monkey then, uh, flip the switch. That will open up the door for him and then go down. And then the rhino, like I said, can just go on by to the right. He's, well, he's done. He doesn't uh, play much part in this, to be fair, apart from getting past the toxic barrels. So with the horse then, now you can just jump up, because there's no other way for us to go. Go through the door, jump down. Lovely, that's him, job done. With uh, Just go back upstairs with the monkey. You only needed to uh, press the down button once, <laughs> obviously. In fact, you didn't even need to press it at all that last time. You could have just stayed there. But that's that bit done then. We are coming extremely close to the end now. So with the monkey then, we will go ahead and nip on upstairs. As there's only one way to go at the minute. Get the rhino through as well. And put him all the way upstairs. And then just do the same with the horse. So 
to go to the edge and then get the monkey across as well so that we'll be able to throw him across without any issues right here. Nice flick. Lands dead on his face, but he's all good. He's, he's, he's a tough little dude. Then go all the way up the stairs. Same with the rhino then. Get him all the way up to the very, very top. Flick the switch. Here is the monkey. That'll open up the door. And then push this giant-ass box with the rhino. Goodbye. And happily, just to head on down. The door is not open for the moment. So you can't actually get past. That bit is locked. So with the horse, uh, you can head back down the stairs and then stand on the pressure plate right here. What that will do is open up the door where the rhino is. Now we can press B to open up this door, hit or head button even, whichever way you prefer, of course. Now this bit is important. As the rhino now, go all the way to the right until you get the secret and get the other collectible for it. If you go past the um, fire hydrant there with all three characters, the level ends and you cannot actually get the final uh, secret so very important to make sure one character goes and gets that and then you're good to go so when we do that then so the rhino and monkey are over now get the horse again all the way to the very top and he will majestically just sort of smash down go across get them all across bam wham bam thank you ma'am we are done and we just got to now get our ass to level seven but that is the main game complete so I really hope you've enjoyed the main game. Hope you've enjoyed the guide as well because I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed recording it. I loved playing it as well. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, like I said, I hope you've been watching the comic strips as well because they made me laugh to no end. But you just got to... Uh, let's nip through all the credits. Congratulations to everyone who worked on the game. Again, it was absolutely fantastic. But, like I said, to get the final achievement, what we're going to be doing then, uh, press the start button, load chapter, and go on to chapter 7. And if you remember what I said a little bit earlier on, we've just got to play the very, very first small part, get to the secret tree, and then that's it, the achievement, and the game is basically finished there. So there we go then, there literally was not a lot to do, that's why I sort of just left it go, you um, should have been sort of familiar with it. But that's it then guys and gals, here we go, here's the secret tree, remember this only appears if you have collected all of the diamonds, all of the secrets throughout the game, or the collectibles, whatever you want to call them. But once that's there, we're in this sort of upside down, strange dream world. And, well, you can either carry on finishing it, or you can just stop right now, but that is that, so... I just want to say thank you very, very much, guys and gals, for watching. Thank you to all of those that support the channel so far, all the really nice comments and feedback I've had. And, of course, even the um, critical ones as well. It always helps me improve as a channel, of course. So, thank you very much once again. Remember, I'm on all, all bloody social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, even Patreon too, if you fancy having a blast over there, you beautiful bunch. So again, if this guide helped you and you did enjoy the game, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Big love.